Hello everyone. These are just some idiotic teenage boys. Disclaimers. The way I write some of the characters is not how they are canonly written. EX. Akashi's aggression. Also, I do not own any songs, characters, or audios used in this video. Complete credits to the creators. Enjoy the video. Are you all ready? Everyone in the room nodded. Daichi had arranged a pool event for some of the captains. And some others, after they had graduated, or have moved up into their third year. He allowed each captain to bring someone if they wanted to. Most of them doing so, the group was currently standing outside of the pool area, about to go inside. Wait. Before we go inside, is there anyone not able to swim? Only one person raised their hand. That was expected. Hey, what does that mean? Hush hush Ken Ken you can cling to me, while you're fighting and tackling Bakuto and Deshao. No thanks, I'll stay in the shallow end until you take a break from trying to drown them. Fair. Yeah I guess. That hissing bitch could never. You wanna go? Save it. Yes sir. sir. I. Well. Whatever let's hurry up so I will can take his shirt off. Toru? Ha what? Who said that? Must have been the spider over there. Please. You can't get out of it Dumbus. Yeah we all heard you man. Aha uh -huh, okay now let's go. I. Gonna go sit over there. God damn it. Does anyone not want to get in the water right away? I'll sit with you. I'll join you I guess. Alright. Kiru opened the door and the group. Walked inside. Getting ready to swim. Once everyone was alright. People began getting into the water. Holy fuck it's cold. MHM. You'll get used to it. Suddenly. A scream could be heard from the other end of the pool. The deep end. Counter ow. Put Emmy down. Don't you fucking dare. Ak. Akuto had picked up Akashi and threw him into the pool, jumping in after him. Akashi was first to resurface, gasping for air. Bakuto, holy shit, what? After some of you all get into the water, your hair will go down. Oh shit you're right. Kiru go jump into the water. I. Okay, you two tend out. Maybe, Bo's already under. He'll be up in a sec. Or maybe Akashi killed him and he's not. Akashi KG stop stop stop. You haven't been in the water for 5 minutes. Good god. Kiru slid into the water to pry Akashi off of Bakuto. Allowing him to come up. KG. Get off of me. Bakuto resurfaced. Coughing and panting. KG. That was uncalled for. It certainly was not now get back here. Shit. I'm sorry I'm sorry. Sorry don't do shit. Bakuto quickly swam away. Akashi quickly following. PFFT. Look at him. His hair is down. Damn. I'd smash. Shut up they shall. I. Ha. Ah. Oh shut up. Several more people entered the pool. Leaving just. Kita. Kenma. And I Iwazumi on the pool deck. Ashi I can't see anything. Well yeah your hair is in your face. Go back under and slick it back. Well. Kita come on. Fine. Uck. I give up. Okay. No seriously. I'm sorry for throwing you in. But not really. <laughs> I'm tired. Akashi swam over to Bakuto and clung to him, allowing himself to momentarily rest. Well that was a mood swing if I've ever seen one. We can sit for a bit if you'd like. That'd be nice. Also if you say that again I'll bite you. Kenma why don't you come as well? Fine. Bakuto and Akashi got out of the pool, walking over to a smaller one. Kenma following. Kita got into the pool as well. That just cleaves you Iwa. Oh shut up you thirsty bit. I'm staying right here. At least take your shirt off. No damn it. Whoa chill. Don't force him and Kawa. He'll come eventually. Boy corner old his eyes. You're no fun. But. Uck. I'm heartbroken. You're fine. Honestly. Maybe if you stop being so thirsty then he'll get in. Humph. I y'all. I'm gonna join those three to make sure Kenma doesn't die. Good luck with that. Thanks I really need it. Kiru hauled himself out of the water and walked over to Kenma, Bakuto, and Akashi. I don't understand why you guys are so worried for him. It's just Bakuto and Akashi. Did you not just watch Akashi try to drown his boyfriend? Must have missed that. KG's nightmarish. He and Bo are pretty funny though. Yeah he's only really ever calm during games or in class from what I hear. 
Akuto just gets even more hyper, so they're just really destructive together. That's surprising. He appears so collected and calm in his matches. Aha uh -huh, no. On the topic of being out of character during practice and matches, that motherfucker standing up there is the most dramatic and lovey duffy person ever I swear to god. Am um, not, not can confirm that he is indeed really dramatic. Not as dramatic as Oikora, though. Well excuse you. Point proven. Ha. Huh. Now move I'm joining you, oh thank god. Iwaizumi removed his shirt and slid in. He swam over to Oikora and splashed him, soaking his upper half. I'm not even mad. Agur no fun. See if that were anyone else we'd be half dead for ruining his hair. Simp. Honestly. Meanwhile in the other pool, I'm so scared. See I can't tell if they're just screwing around like the idiots they are or if they're about to fuck. I'm hoping it's neither. I don't like the image in front of me. Kiru I'm scared. I know. Kiru brought Kenma closer to his side and covered his eyes. Daichi walked up beside the pool to check on the four. Is everyone okay? Yeah no I'm leaving. Good choice. Bakuto had placed Akashi's legs onto his shoulders, towering over the sitting boy. Shut What the hell? Nope I'm done. How did Fukurodani deal with this? I have no clue, I'm leaving I cannot deal with this shit. Take me too, please. Akbo stop, turn around and go the other way. Do not make eye contact, Kiru carry me, I. Sure, Kiru picked up Kenma and got up out of the small pool, cautiously speed walking away. Counter our stop, well that's concerning, should I intervene? I think I should intervene, I think that you should not, it's okay, if Akashi really was distressed he'd kicks Bo's ass. That's very true. He totally beat up Kiru. He did? Kiru slid into the water. Kenma following. Once they were in, Kenma lightly grabbed onto Kiru's shoulders. Yeah. What did you do? It's a long story. He and Bakuto got into a fight and Kiru said some shit and made Bakuto cry. Deji. Dude. Well of course Akashi's gonna fight you. He's like Bakuto's guard dog. Can we just stop? I feel bad. He forgave me. It's over and in the past. Conversation over. Okay. Well they went silent so I don't know what to do. Yeah rhyme. Checking. Aha have fun. Hey Daichi. Can you come over here? Are you alright? You to Toru. Okay. The two captains swam over. Slightly worried. Do you have any idea? Not at all. Sugora and Iwaizumi abruptly grab the other two boys. Ack, if I get dunked I will literally cry. Hum. They're getting thrown under the waterfall, aren't they? Oh definitely. I'm getting what? I would put Emi down. Suga please. No. I'm not throwing you under the waterfall. Oh thank god. I'm going under with you. What? Puffed. You're not going under Deiji. Then what? Sugora threw Deiji. I'm scared for my life. That was about 150 pounds. Holy shit. Well that was easier than I thought. What? Tendal was walking back. Fear on his face. I. Maybe I should stay up here. No please Tendal help. I don't wanna completely ruin my hair. It's wet enough. Maybe he would if you had gone to Shiratoris or. Ugh. Sorry love. I weigh Zumi pushed a loudly protesting Oikola under a large waterfall. Quickly following. I weigh Zumi. I mean at least you look hot with the wet hair. It's been ruined with chlorine water. Hush. The two swam into the small cove behind the waterfall. You. Don't say that Satori. Whatever. Don't start making out back there. No promise. Well. Hey motherfuckers. That's rude. Hummo oh well. What's with all the sass? Akashi fell back into the deeper water. Is he good? Yup. Well that's suspicious. KG? What? Oh she's got attitude. Kiru I'll slap your face off. What did I do? Akashi what's your problem? It's not your problem. Well, he'll be fine later. I think. Probably. Okay so I'm gonna go drag Oikola off. Don't. Okay I guess I won't. For crying out loud. Don't fight. Oh be quiet. Don't try to be a peacemaker or the well my teammates never fight. 
You can't say anything with your two legend arena nahamas who do nothing but fight and screw around. Don't talk about them like that. You should see what they say about them during Shiratori's or practices. Excuse me. Akashi there's no reason to be such a bitch. There really isn't. Damn they are getting along. Kiru elbowed Tarashima. Ow damn it. There was no reason for that. MM there kinda was. You are not involved. Shut your lazy ass up. Do not speak to him like that. Well don't shove Tarashima around. There is no reason to be arguing. Key to stop talking before you get slapped across the face. I would be worried about that. You know I could slap Mr. Ashiwaka over here across the face but I won't because I have the decency to not. Try me. You know Kiru if you keep digging. But he's right. There is no reason to be such a drag. You don't know why he's upset. You can't say shit. Too bad I don't care. Is it that hard to just tell us? Shut up. Shut up shut up shut up. All of you look at me. Most of the group turns toward Toru. A few rolling their eyes. That includes Yusu Gora. Uck. There is no reason to be fighting. There is no reason to insult another person. Especially one younger than you. Iwaizumi and Oikoa glared at Ashijima and Eiji. It's not okay. And there's no excuse. If you can't be mature enough to talk with each other, like the young adults that you are, then leave. The door is over there. Goodbye. And this is why we don't go to outings with rivals. Thank you.